This is the Atlantic Soccer Media Group, bringing you UPSL soccer coverage from the Georgia Premier Division, live on 11 Sports. Nachos, better with Pepsi. And while they're calling in the lineups here at the park here at Iron Dell, we'll go ahead and talk as well. We can see our lineup. We can see a little bit different for FC Birmingham today. They're going to be using a 3-5-2 lineup. FC Matata with their traditional 4-3-3 lineup. Two yards off, but all the way over on the far side. What can the Matata player do? Whips it in, easily grabbed by Curry. That was a fantastic work by the keeper. Yeah, nice good throw position, out. Good hands by Curry. Quick, nice step there by the Birmingham midfielder. Nice little give and go. Over to Downey. Over to oh. taken down, and that is going to be a penalty. Taken down in the box. We definitely need to take another look at that one, John. Let's take a look here and see exactly what just transpired. Let's see this nice yeah. little give and go right here. Up to Downey. Sent over to 35. Taken down right from behind. Yeah, no question about that, Larry. That's great, great passing. And, and, and... Get Hep off of his game. Oh, and he saves it. What a wonderful oh. save. And back in for a goal. Oh. Now is he off there? Is he off on side? The AR was all the way back on the goal line, and the Matata players are saying that he did not see that the player was offside. Let's see if we can take a look ourselves and see if we can see if that was indeed onside or off. And we see Ryan take the shot. A little bit of deflection hits the post, sent back over, and cleared out. I, from that angle, John, I can't tell you if that was onside or off. Now there's a little conversation going on between the AR and the center ref. Yeah, it's going to be close. But we're going to see what they're going to call. He is going to go ahead and call it. Birmingham player down, but no foul. I think that was it looked like he just got smacked in the face there, John. But that ball not able to get to the path of where it was supposed to go. Birmingham with control. Trying to take a long shot. Number six. And it's going to go out just wide. That was ambitious to say the least, John. Unfortunately, with that new handball rule, there's times where you would think that it would be called, and it's just not. This ball... Able to win possession is Downey. He is on side. Stumbled past the keeper. Oh, pass beautiful defender. way to get. Oh, and another pen another penalty is going to be the called yellow in card. the yellow card for for the mid or for the goalkeeper Ibanez. He gets a a yellow. This time, oh, yeah. totally caught the keeper off guard. And a throw oh, of that, and there's going to be a second yellow. Be, uh, and that is going to be yellow. a red card for yeah. the keeper for throwing the ball at. Oh. Just like we said, that's not what we wanted to see from 
Matata, red card for the keeper, gains possession, sends the ball forward. Downey onside. Oh. Making his way in. Shot oh. a great deflection right into the defender. Abanya is going to take a, another crack at this from the opposite side. Yeah, so next nice one. Play, Edited yeah. by number 26, and it's going to go oh. out for a goal. Keeps up here in the second half. And that's one thing about that first half, John, is our center ref, Ethan Wilson, able to see a shot. Great save there by the keeper. That was a opportunity. Indeed, Larry. Keeper setting up his wall. He's got a two-man wall. Sent forward. Easily grabbed. Great work there by the keeper. Yeah, good position there by Zuru. That Corrals was... that ball. Matata trying to attack this right side. Ball lifted up and over. Easily controlled by the defender. Another shot taken. Nice block there by FC Birmingham. This is what Birmingham is going to have to do this entire second half. They are going to have to be able to cushion and, and take these blows after blows that Matata is going to try. Yeah, it looks like uh, Birmingham is lining up a substitute for number 22. It looks like number 18, that would be Mercado, is about ready to come on for him. Shot taken. Great deflection there. Great work by the goalkeeper. He's been a workhorse for them today. Good little battle here on the left. He's taking another shot. Good save by the keeper to get the ball to his attacking players. Yeah, they were ahead of the play there. He was kind of forced him to uh, put that ball deep. Oh, here's this a nice one. steal. Yes. Easily maintained before I could even say anything, John. Ordine got possession and decided to take that one on himself and put it in the back of the net for a third goal for FC Birmingham. 3 mil over FC Matata. Let's take a look at that one more time. You see he throws – the keeper throws it over to his defender. His defender just – not really knowing where he was deciding to go. And Bordine said he'd take it himself and slides it right past the keeper. Keeper had nothing for him on that shot. Great work by FC Birmingham. Really putting the screws to FC Matata. Nice ball over the top. Hit it. Not able to get it with enough on it to put it in the back of the net. Just tried to finesse it in with a header. Unfortunately, yeah, close there, but a good see who it is meanwhile we have another corner here for fc another corner nice little whip in headed it but headed it right over the bar and that's going to be a goal kick it looks like number three is going to be coming on for fc matata we'll see who nice little ball coming across tried to take a slab at it not able to do so number five our newly yeah, Gina, not able to get a good 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 foot on that there. Just Had coming an into the match, he really, yeah, he just coming into the match, he really wasn't prepared for a shot coming across like that. Just trying to take a stab at it and missed in his timing. But that's okay because. Number four being Mercy did a fantastic, but here's another there's opportunity Walton. for Walton. Let the ball get behind him, and they're easily able to control it. A little bit too slow of a clear ounce by Mercy, but they line up again. Wonderful save there, clearance there by Mercy, and that's going to be a push in the back from number 14 from Matata, switching the field, able to get the ball. Across the face of goal, but nobody there. A nice shot taken there by number 16, Davis, but controlled by the feeling like they are just not getting the dice on these calls. Walton, however, 
getting the ball over to Mercado and just a nice step by the defense and a horrible little tackle there by Walton on the backup keeper as the keeper was just trying to clear it out. The keeper is down. Walton has a yellow. Let's hope uh, let's hope he doesn't see red here. Quite quickly. As I believe the center ref probably wants this matchup over just as much as the teams do. He is going to allow this one to be sent in. Number three, headed it in, oh. and it's going to go in for a goal. Beautiful goal. Number three, Acton with the goal. Matata disappointed with that. Let's take a look at that one more time, John. You can see Matata was just asleep at the wheel for this corner. As you see, it comes in and all by himself just headed it right past the keeper. Nothing he could do. Two wins and one loss. They'll be right with them in the top two seeds. We'll see who gets the top spot. And that will do it here at Lawson Field Stadium. 4 nil is our score between FC Birmingham and FC Matata.